it's pink mon and welcome back to the not so berry challenge um so there's been a little bit of a time skip since the last episode because i was recording it like a couple weeks ago and somebody came home and interrupted my recording so rude yeah but <laughs> anyways i was gonna like combine the footage from that day with this footage but i realized nothing really <laughs> happened that was important the like rosalie just finished her work day she was what was she doing Misty like trying to get more Lina. votes we're up to Bazinati. 13 out of 20. that's really the only thing you need to know right now we are having this wedding so um i'm not even gonna bother making it a gold event because we already know she has to leave them at the altar as part of her generation rules so let's invite some guests obviously we're gonna invite saffron all our brothers and their wives oh i didn't think i don't think she met um one of their wives i can never remember who's married to who but oh well we're gonna invite tracy kumar who is actually like our next romantic target after steven who knows maybe something could even go down at the wedding <laughs> there's this girl whose makeup is just like tragic but we're really close friends with her so i guess we're gonna <laughs> invite her why not oh here's damon's wife yeah so just one of our sister-in-laws won't be coming because i forgot to have her meet that sister-in-law anyways it doesn't really matter because we all know this wedding is going to be cut short um i put in a wedding venue okay here it is it's under the generic uh venue type i didn't think you could actually have parties at generic venues but i guess we can that's good okay so let me have them change into the outfits i actually made for them whoa <laughs> everyone's real excited about the bride i think it's because she's semi-famous but look at how pretty she looks and he looks cute too but he does look like he's going to prom because i'm pretty sure this was from like a prom cc pack but <laughs> still cute um i love her dress i love everything i'm about to love her crushing his heart so here's the wedding venue it's kind of like a little park and just very nature themed we have a little bathroom over here and there's a bar we're gonna hire a mixologist because i don't think one is gonna naturally just come oh and in the last part well the part that you didn't see <laughs> um i ordered a wedding cake i texted someone but they didn't text back whatever um Anyways, I use the Little Miss Sam uh, food delivery mod. So if your Sim doesn't have like super high gourmet cooking, you can get like an actual wedding cake with that mod. It's really nice. Um, one thing I am gonna do is just add a table in so I can put this cake. Okay, let me put this thing down. And it does have the wedding topper, so no one's gonna touch it. <laughs> the weather sucks right now. I was hoping it would be like bright out or something, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I like the twins' glittery suits that I, I apparently gave them. <laughs> I think I just gave them those because they're aliens, and I was like, I feel like aliens would wear glitter. Okay, so let me form a blue just so I can get everyone closer to the um, wedding arches. And this is what, um, whose wife is she? Let me see. I always forget who is with who. Okay, so Yumiko is Jupiter's wife. And by the way, I noticed that in the last part I had said um, that these kids, Allison, Martin, and no, just these two, not Octavia. I had said these were actually Jupiter's kids, but they're not. <laughs> they're all his stepkids. So yeah. She has two different, I think two different baby daddies. I haven't checked who their dad is. Wait, let me see. Okay, yeah, so they're actually all by the same dad. But he passed away, so I guess she was widowed. Just clearing that up real quick. So let's have our girl come over here with the group. I don't think they're all going to sit over here. To be honest, they're probably going to crowd around her and, like, start doing that wedding dancing glitch that always happens. <laughs> okay, so where's the arch? Is there an actual arch here or we just... Okay, I'm going to put an arch in. Hopefully this looks okay. I think it does. The purple, the blue, it all kind of matches. All right, so I have to make sure I do this right because 
in my 100 baby challenge, I tried to have my sim like stop the wedding in the middle of it and actually failed. <laughs> like the interaction just didn't go through and I think I waited too long and that was the problem. But yeah, she ended up still marrying him and then I just had her divorce him right in front of everyone right after the wedding finished. It was pretty stupid, but yeah. So let's get this disaster started. We can't wait too, too long <laughs> to cancel the wedding because I really don't want a repeat of what happened. So let me just take some screenshots, of course. Poor Steven, you have no idea what's about to happen. <laughs> I wonder what she's thinking right now. Like, she's still acting all like romantic with him. Maybe she doesn't even know she's about to do it. <laughs> I think even though Tracy's wearing a stupid outfit, let's fix that actually. Even though that's not really a wedding appropriate outfit, it's the only outfit she has that isn't hideous. So I think she's gonna take one look at the now not pregnant Tracy and be like, I can't go through with this. <laughs> okay, so how do we do this? I think I have to click on her, right? No, I guess I click on him. Uh, call off the wedding, oh my God. So here we go, guys. <laughs> I'm probably going to be pausing a lot. Hopefully that doesn't annoy anyone. Please let this work or I'm going to have to start this recording over. <laughs> oh my god. It's it's happening. I don't think I've ever done this. Okay. Let's see how the rest of this goes. Oh my god. <laughs> Is he going to cry? Whoa. What is she doing now? Is it the... Be sl no! Is he really gonna slap her just like her freaking ex baby daddy? No way! Okay, he didn't do it. Thank God. <laughs> I know Steven is not that type. Let's see how these guests are looking. Um, looks like literally no one cares, which is kind of stupid. I wish if they were watching and the bride or whatever the groom or bride decides to end the wedding like the guests should react <laughs> um at least my sims reacted in my 100 baby challenge when i divorced right in front of them but they should react to this too okay so that happened <laughs> that was a little like anticlimactic to what i thought it would be i'm glad she didn't get slapped by steven at least um <laughs> left at the altar all right, let's go find Tracy. Where is she at? Oh, she's over here going to the bathroom. Let's let her get a, a drink because she really needs one. Just some juice on the rocks. She needs something strong right now. <laughs> Poor Steven. I'm so glad you resisted the urge to slap her, Steven, because then I would have totally changed my opinion about you. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Poor dude. I like how um, Yumiko is just like glaring at everyone. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> so she actually has a confident moodlet from ending that wedding, dodged a bullet from getting cold feet, just narrowly avoided a very serious relationship. <laughs> That's really funny. I like that. She's feeling good about it, like doesn't feel bad at all. And that's very like her. So what is Saffron doing? Does anyone feel like weird? about the wedding that's so dumb they don't get any moodlets from that okay well i think we're actually going to is yumiko like flirting with steven i don't think so we're actually gonna end the wedding because obviously that didn't go well <laughs> and i'm gonna send saffron and steven home and I'm just gonna have Saffron try to get with Yumiko. I'm gonna have to, I mean, not Yumiko, oh my god, ew. <laughs> That's her sister-in-law. I mean, um, Tracy. We're gonna have to invite her back over because she's probably gonna leave now. All right, I formed a group with just Tracy and I'm having them go over here. Hopefully she'll like take the flirty stuff. I don't know how she's probably feeling right now. Uh, let's be friendly first. Oh, by the way, I'm having this glitch where like, when I go to initiate a conversation with Sims, they don't have as many options for like interactions. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what's causing it, which is the um, picture frame mod that is not really needed um, because 
We got the Moschino or Moschino, however you say it, pack with the different colored picture frames. Anyways, the mod came out before that and it conflicts with that pack. So it's causing like glitches for me, but I can't take it out yet because it's actually affecting my pictures that I put colored frames on before. So like if I take the mod out, those pictures disappear from my game completely. And I can't have that for my 100 baby challenge because I need to keep a picture of each kid and each baby daddy in game, not just out of game. So yeah, I'm just leaving it in until I finish that challenge. Hopefully it doesn't cause any more severe glitches, but yeah. Okay, so let's try to flirt with her, compliment her appearance, and I like how she's just standing in the rain. <laughs> let's make a flirtatious joke, I guess. And I don't know. We could try to embrace her. Well, let's do a pickup line and then try to embrace her. I'm glad she gave birth because it would be kind of um, odd if they woohooed <laughs> when she was like heavily pregnant. Okay, and we're going to exchange numbers. At least this is going well. I think she's saying, oh, I just, I took one look at you. Oh no! <laughs> Crap. Hopefully she doesn't get mad at that, but she probably will. Can we do a smooth recovery? Okay, let's fix this. She was good for a while, but now she's just being a snob about it. Maybe she's tired of being in the rain. Maybe we need to switch locations. Um, yeah, let's do that. Oh, she didn't even like the Wow, Tracy. Okay, we're gonna go somewhere else. Yes, she is going to stay in her wedding dress because I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, so let's see. I think after that fiasco, she really just wants to get drunk. So they're going to come over here. And Tracy's just trying to be a good friend. I'm pretty sure Tracy's married, so it's not like she's planning to do anything with Rosalie, but Rosalie's just very persuasive, even though she was kind of failing a few minutes ago. <laughs> but we can fix that. Um, let's order drinks for the group. We'll get some red wine. Come on. Can we stop playing musical chairs? This has been a problem since day one of The Sims 4. I don't know why we can't fix it. Oh no, it's still an awkward encounter, so I don't know if this compliment appearance is gonna go well. Darn it! <laughs> I thought it was gonna reset their conversation. Okay, we're just gonna hopefully not get in the red at least. Let's compliment her outfit. Flish, um, brighten her day. Tell an outrageous story. Hopefully she doesn't get mad about like the funny interactions again. Flesh, she was getting kind of Ando. mad over her jokes oh. last time. <laughs> we can discuss interests <laughs> and just <laughs> get out of the awkward Love phase. Zana as long as Tana none of these randos join our conversation, Sensei we should be Jaleiro good to go back Rinka. into flirty no. now. Why does she have like a <laughs> dot on her? Oh. Um, Alright, we're gonna try to come my pants again because we're <laughs> into a casual now. It's out of the awkward <laughs> phase. That dude needs to calm down because he's kind of hurting my ears right now. Okay. I didn't see what happened. I don't know if that even went through. <laughs> I was so distracted by him. So we're gonna try a flirt and a compliment appearance. Okay, now she's taking it, but we're gonna take it slow because apparently that's how she is. Um, smooth recovery? I don't, did we mess up again? <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, let's blow a kiss. I'm pretty sure that one's not like a big deal, so she shouldn't reject it. Let me just stack up these. What is this? <laughs> we'll try a pickup line. And what else can we try? Oh my god, dude. Why are you so bipolar? Can we try a smooth recovery? Apparently not. Was it the smooth recovery that made her piss? Because I'm pretty sure it was. I shouldn't have even done it. Try it again. Um, did it work? I think it worked? I don't even know. 
Oh, let's just Don't try to be funny for a minute. Carbs. Why is it still so awkward? Happen. What the heck? Is she not liking the jokes? Yeah. This chick is kind of boring and has no sense of humor. Like, it's not that serious. All right, we're into funny conversation at least. Tell another joke about engineers because apparently we have endless engineer jokes. Oh, she's going pee. We'll let her do that, I guess. And she's definitely drunk because <laughs> she has, she's nauseous from drinking so much, but she's sober from getting drunk. Rosalie seems, oh, okay, so she's almost, she's sobering up, apparently. <laughs> Where'd Tracy go? Did she leave us? She did! Ugh! You know what? I'm over it. She's going home, and she's gonna, now that she's drunk and has enough... Well, you know what? She doesn't need to be drunk to have enough confidence to break up with Steven. <laughs> like, technically, she broke up with him when she left him at the altar, but, like, we need to make it official because they're definitely still considered boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. So let's go crush him even more, make the message more clear that they're done, and then I have to actually move them out. I'm going to move them back into their old house. Okay, I'm surprised Saffron's not like yelling at her mom. <laughs> Let's have her come and see, this is my glitch I'm having. I'm just gonna have to deal with it until I'm done with 100 Baby because I can't really remove that mod as I explained. Like once the conversation starts, then they can like do more interactions. But yeah, I'm just gonna start the conversation yeah, with a hug. <sighs> And then we're gonna go into mean. What can we do? Just yell at her like, "Mom, what's wrong with you? Why would you do that to Steven? I thought he was gonna be my new dad." No. How? <laughs> oh my God, Peppa. And then a. It says she's sober, but she's dazed, so I don't really understand. It says she's about to be sober, though. So she's still a little bit drunk. Let's have her do a smooth apology, Yermish. though. Because uh, she doesn't want to ruin their relationship they've built uh -huh. up. Normally, she would just probably yell at her <laughs> and tell her off, like, it's none of your business, Saffron. But they have built up a friendship. So where's Steven at? He is up here. He's very angry. I'm surprised he didn't die. If he gets to the enraged state, though, he might. So hopefully we don't kill him with this. I think he'll just be more sad than... Um, oh my god. See, I have to come and just start a conversation. Let's hug him. Even though I don't know if he's going to take that right now, to be honest. Um, we're going to try. And I love her, like, oh. drunken redness on her cheeks right now. <laughs> Oh, Damon's stopping by. It looks like he's concerned about his sister. That's cute. So, let's go see how this hug goes. He might reject it. Oh, no, now she's feeling very sad from being drunk. Thanks. Okay, good. He did reject it. I'm glad that happened because it would be pretty dumb if they just acted fine. Okay, so let's go into mean. Actually, I'm going to have him yell at her first. Like, how dare you? humiliate me like that blah 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 chew her out an arm. um what else me a brow. we can announce their friendship provoke her she's just like oh my god you can tell just from her whole like demeanor right now she doesn't give a crap about anything he's saying she's being so mean about it like, did you really think I was going to marry you, dude? Yeah. Criticize his... Aww. <laughs> She's fake crying. Okay, that's what that was. She's criticizing his woo techniques. Um, argue. Let's yell at him. And then we have to break up with him. Wait, actually, they might have actually broken... What the heck? They might have actually broken up. Let's just scare him so we can get the conversation back. Okay, so they technically did break up. They just still had a romance bar, so they were just like in the lovers category. But yeah, they are officially broken up now, right? Um, 
just good friends. But see, that's really annoying because I wish I could have done an official breakup so it would say like ex-boyfriend, but whatever. Okay, so we're done with him. I'm gonna move them out of this house now because there's no point in being here anymore. She's so evil. <laughs> All right, this was their house, right? I'm like not 100% sure, but I feel like it was. Let me see something. Yeah, that's definitely their house, but they can't afford it right now, which is kind of annoying. Um, what should I do? Can they afford it unfurnished? They can't even afford it unfurnished. Oh my God. So I think I'm gonna have them actually, I don't wanna cheat cause it's a challenge, like with money anyways, I don't wanna cheat. Um, I'm going to move them into an apartment for now. This will help with her career anyways, cause she has to do a lot of her um, tasks in the city so let's try to find them a tiny little apartment this one here has two bedrooms um, we'll have to oh, we're gonna have to evict these little pink smurf people but <laughs> uh, can we afford it though let's see yes we can I'm obviously going to renovate this apartment soon but let's head into it now Okay, what are we working with? So, oh god, oh god. <laughs> well, Saffron's gonna like the yellow walls, but that's clearly not Rosalie's style. She's not really ready to be looking like Ronald McDonald in here with the yellow walls and her red clothes clashing horribly. But what do we have going on? So it's not too late. Um, I think I'm gonna have Rosalie just make some dinner for them. Actually, they're gonna order a pizza because why not? Ooh, negotiate a bonus. I don't think I should have her do that when she's feeling sad though, because I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> so let's hire a service. Yeah, she wants to emotionally eat right now. Um, okay, so I guess the Little Miss Sam's food delivery actually completely replaces the pizza delivery thing. Anyways, I highly suggest you get this mod because you can order like anything on it any of the foods from Like the cook and gourmet cook menu you can get like some desserts and I think oh You can get the grand meals. You can get any type of cake. You can get all the uh, food stand foods. It's really useful so What kind should we get? Let's just get pepperoni Saffron is feeling happy for some reason. Apparently she ate something good. She hasn't been that affected by this in game, but we're gonna use our imagination. Um, she's gonna sleep on this kid's bed for right now because that's all she has going on. She's not even hungry, so she's not gonna have pizza, but Rosalie is gonna eat her feelings. She's not like, she is sad, but Mostly she's feeling sorry for herself because <laughs> she knows she was supposed to marry that dude for political reasons. Let's have her watch cooking. She was supposed to marry him because, well, it makes her look better as a candidate to be married in a stable family and all that. Her political advisors told her he would be like a perfect husband for her image. So she's sad she has to give that up and probably her... Okay, let's come take this food. Probably her campaign advisors are pissed at her and she's also sad because Tracy kind of rejected her. Um, so that's why she's sad. She's not like sad about Steven though, you know? She doesn't feel bad for him. She's kind of sociopathic. <laughs> we'll have her take a slice. She's still drunk, so she has this little flush going on, making her look like a neon Pikachu or something. <laughs> Um, well, <laughs> that's a pretty depressing ending to this part, but in the next part, we're going to hustle, save up a bunch of money so we can move back into our family home, even though it's kind of hideous because I built it, but <laughs> I'm going to try to make it better, like, later on in her generation when she has more money. Hopefully, I can, I don't know, search up some building tips so I can make it better, and I have to also change it because right now it's all mint for Peppa's generation, so I'll have to make it rosy for her, but anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.